Hey everybody, this is Edgewine. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to use Norton Security Suite, why do you use it, and what it basically does. So Norton Security Suite is a virus protection software provided by Comcast. And basically what this does is it'll, it'll throw out all of your old virus software and it will basically manage it all by itself. So if you don't have this downloaded, you have Xfinity, log into your account and I'll put the link below to where you can go download it. It's a pretty quick download. Um, once you get that up and running, you're going to want to make sure, like I said, that it has excluded all other virus protection software on your computer because that can create a whole bunch of conflict with your um, with your computer. So you want to make sure, like I said, that it's the only one running. Go to your control panel, go to System and Security and Windows Firewall, and make sure that these settings are being managed by Vendor Application Norton Security Suite. Make sure that it says that right there. Make sure that these two are unmarked. Um, and basically what you want to do from there is uh, close out of that and now you have Norton. So Norton is running everything for you. Um, you don't need any other virus protection software. So basically with this you have uh, security. So under security you have scans, different type of scans you can run. And with this you have quick scan, full system scan, and custom scan which are the basic three. Um, quick scan you're going to want to run once a month. This will check all your files or and quarantine all of the viruses that you have on your computer running full system scan I wouldn't really recommend because it'll go through all of your Windows files you know on your PC that aren't gonna have any viruses on them they haven't had any changes made to them and you haven't touched them since you got your computer because you don't need to it'll run through all of those files and just sort of guess just waste your time um, because you already know there's no viruses in them so just quick scan It'll go ahead and um, delete all the viruses for you. Like I said, this is actually one of the big advantages of Norton Security Suite is it doesn't tell you that you have a virus. It just deletes them for you. It'll tell you, but it'll delete them. So you don't have to go through anything else. Next thing is uh, Manage Firewall. From here, you can add program rules, which are allowances made to programs for Norton Security Suite to run um, special software, software that you may... Say you have a computer that's... Um, uh, or say you have a program that has a virus on it and it says Norton's popping up right here in the bottom corner um, is where you get your alerts. Say it's popping up and it's saying that this program has a virus so we're not going to download it. Basically what you can do is go through here is to add an exception for that program even though you know it has a virus. Say you want to download it anyway. You just click on that program. Say I click on Adobe. Go to the setup files of it. Go all the way to into the core of the file. Um, and try to find the setup.exe. So setup.exe for Adobe is right here. I just click OK. This will um, pop up a window. And from here you can actually see um, that I can go through and allow always or block always or manually configure it. Um, set that on allow always and click OK. And that's where it will create the exception. So right here you can see for Adobe Reader it created the exception for allow and I can actually go through here and change it again if I wanted to block it um, for a certain reason or anything I can go through there and block it so that's it with the um, firewall settings so you can go ahead and close that save any of the changes that you made the last thing is a uh, tune-up so tune-up has disk optimization and file cleanup these are the big things with tune-up though that you're gonna wanna run uh, most frequently the disk optimization is actually disk defragging, so it'll defrag your hard drive. If you don't know what defragging means, is it when you have a whole bunch of programs on your hard drive or any programs on your hard drive, they're scattered without the hard throughout the hard drive. So what disk optimization does is it goes through and it pushes all of those programs into a corner. It doesn't delete anything, it just compresses them all into a corner so it can use the rest of the drive as space. So that you know, it's not everything's not just floating around in there in random positions. It actually positions it all for you. So you're gonna run disk optimization. Um, I'd say every month too, as well as running the um, security test with it. So just do all this at the same time. I already ran mine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel it. Um, run file cleanup. So file cleanup is basically disk cleanup for the Windows PCs. Um, if you have disk cleanup, you've used it, you know what it is. That's all it does. It deletes your temporary files and it gets rid of just um, stuff that you don't need on your PC. So clicking on run file cleanup, you'll see uh, Internet Explorer temporary files and Windows temporary files have both been deleted. And that's an advantage of this program. It, it 
really tries to keep you your computer running fine because your temporary files you really do not need and trust me they do pile up pretty fast actually a way to check is to click on start type in percent temp percent click enter and these are all just temporary files that you don't need for your computer so you can go ahead and delete these some of them won't delete most of them will um, click yes like it says right here won't delete this for current items skip so some of them will delete you could have a really big list of these and this could slow down your computer quite a bit um, so let's do a file cleanup the last thing I'm going to go over is run diagnostic report so diagnostic report basically what it does is it goes through your hardware everything on your OS and your files and then tests basically all of the different configurations and applications on your computer to make sure that they're running fine um, and then it comes up with a diagnostic report so your diagnostic report will show you okay my operating system has no problems um, even though it has no problems I want to see you know the details of what's going on so I can click details and it'll give me this long list of just information that I might need for my computer um, and stuff like that so now that you see how you know this these programs are all working fine go down and you see uninstalled programs it has a conflict so it says Norton Security Suite has detected 130 programs on your computer basically what this means is it's saying okay you have a whole bunch of computers or programs on your computer you can be able to uh, pro or improve your speed or your performance of your PC by removing some of the programs that you don't use so by default Clicking fix now will bring you automatically to the uninstall programs interface. From here you can go ahead and click on anything you don't want. Click on install. Um, that's a big thing too. You always want to make sure you only have programs on your computer that you use because a whole bunch of extra programs are put on your computer when going through setups and you really don't need them. They just waste space and waste your time. So close this out. Um, so I'm not going to fix that right now. I don't want any of my programs uninstalled. Um, scroll down, you see inoperable hardware devices. So what this means is that some of the devices on my computer are having conflicts and I can actually go to my device manager by clicking fix now and see if any of the conflicts are created. So I don't see any immediate conflicts right now, but um, clicking up here on on your PC name and clicking scan for hardware changes this will go through and see if there are any hardware changes anything damaged and if there is right next to this arrow or right next to the device it'll have a red or yellow box saying you know this program has a driver that's out of date you need to update the driver but for most part your computer tries to keep all of these up and maintained for you so if you're not seeing any immediate conflicts you don't have any problems with your PC Another way to um, get to this screen is just to go to start and type in device manager. Um, so that's about it. So network connectivity check ran right, system restore points, and processes currently running. All of these are running fine. So I'll go ahead and close my diagnostic report for now. And that's it with Norton Security Suite. So going through this, um, identity and backup, you really don't need to uh, change any of the uh, settings for that. If you don't want your computer to back up, um, it's not going to back up by itself so you don't really have to worry about this box is being checked and identity is just basically just for the firewall um, certain pre protected information that you have on your computer that you don't want others to see it keeps your firewall blocking the information so make sure all these are checked at all times when Norton needs a scan or it needs um, updated it will actually pop up for you in the bottom right corner like I said with that um with what needs to happen and it'll tell you exactly what needs to happen so other than that Norton Security Suite's one of the best programs for virus protection that I've used and I'll continue to use it because it's so good and it just it's performance and everything's just right here for you so um if you like this tutorial just please subscribe and if you have any questions um, post them below and I'll be sure to answer them for you but on that note, um, that's it. So thank you for watching. You have a good day.